Duh. Duh. Oh, I think I stepped in some water before coming to make this. Hi, I'm Jacob Bills, and this is my show. I didn't see you there. I actually did. I just thought saying that would be a cool way to start this episode, but it's really not that cool. I need to take off my glasses because there's a glare, and because... I look so much better without my glasses. I don't know. I don't know if I look that much better, but it's Thanksgiving. And you know what Thanksgiving means? It means, you know, Thanksgiving food and, and, and stuff like that and, and being thankful. And I, I'm very thankful for 2018. First of all, I'm thankful that we're even in 2018. I'm thankful that the movie 2012 didn't become a true story and the earth didn't get wiped out. Actually, some people survived, but I'm glad most of us didn't get wiped out because of all the things that happened in that movie and it was non-existent and, and, and we're here in 2018 and things are good. I'm also thankful for this Bob Ross Pop Pez dispenser that I got this year. It's pretty cool. I mean, that's an awesome thing to be thankful for. At least I think it's kind of random, but I, I just like it. What else am I thankful for? I'm thankful for this kind of beard that I'm getting. I, I, I had a bet at work, but it's for charity, so that's okay, that I would do No Shave November. I think people at work just wanted to see me with um with what I look like with some facial hair, and, and you're starting to see it now. And I think I look horrible. It itches all the time, and I feel like I have a fever because my face is always warm. It's like a 24-7 fever, but it's totally cool. I, I, I'm glad I tried it out and I'm thankful I gave it a try, but I can't wait to shave on December 1st. I'm thankful for wheelbarrows because I feel like they don't get enough appreciation. Like, they're a tub that has a wheel on it and you push it. And they don't, they, like, people don't talk about them as much as wagons and other things that you can use to carry stuff. But wheelbarrows are awesome. Even though they're a little tipsy, they're really cool. I'm thankful for Jello, even though I like rarely eat it anymore, but it was such a good snack when I was a kid, and I feel like it gave me a good basis to start out my life. You know, Jello is just an awesome thing, and I'm glad it's still there for kids to eat. I'm thankful for the phrase knock on wood because it seems to help in so many situations. Like, if you are think you're going to be in trouble soon, as long as you say knock on wood, it, it's going to save the day. I don't know where that phrase originated from. I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to knock on metal because it's tougher and stronger? I don't know. Maybe it's because wood is like traditional and more reliable and we want to stick to that. I, I have no idea, but that, that's just my thought. Of course, wood makes up trees and trees are like awesome and amazing. So maybe that's why. I, I don't know. I'm thankful for unicycles because I have a really deep appreciation for people who can ride unicycles and balance them. I, I think they're awesome. I don't want to own one, but I'm glad people have them out there to ride. They're just wonderful looking uh, half bicycles. I'm thankful for Febreze because it smells good. And I'm also thankful for Glade. I don't want to leave them out too because I have both Glade and Febreze products in my house. I'm thankful for pie at Thanksgiving, and pie is very, very good. I'm so tired of people who underappreciate pie and undersell its value. People who, un I, I love cake, but people who like love cake and think pie is like the worst shouldn't be allowed to eat either one. Here's the thing, they're both amazing, but pie needs to get more respect than it gets. I mean, just think about this, okay? Pie is so amazing, it's been let into the world of math. Now, you might be thinking, Jacob, why would you want to be let into the world of math? Math is horrible. I know. I've tried it. It's terrible. I haven't done it since high school. Well, there were a couple times in college where I did, but we won't talk about that. But just think about it. Like I say, pie has been let into the math world with pie graphs, with graphs, geometry. I think that's what it is. I almost said geography, but that's completely different. But cake, you don't hear about cake graphs. That's not a thing. Maybe someday it will, but for now it's not. So pie has that and amazing taste up over cake. I'm thankful for both turkey and ham at Thanksgiving as well. And I'm still, I, I don't know why chicken hasn't been let into the Thanksgiving club. I mean, I'm sure there are some families that like have chicken on Thanksgiving, but we never do. Maybe it's because chicken is more of a year round thing and people don't like want to have it intrude on Thanksgiving too. But have you ever thought about that? It bothers me. Like, why isn't chicken like the third meat? Or maybe people don't want to buy three birds. Well, ham's not a bird, I guess. Sorry, that, that's a dumb mess up. Yeah, but it could be a bird if it wanted to. No, it couldn't. It can't be a bird. I'm thankful for Spider-Man and the Spider-Man movies because they're just so inspiring. They make me feel like even though I'm a little guy, I could do big things. And I'm also thankful for Stan Lee for creating him and all those other awesome characters. I'm thankful for camouflage because whenever I wear it, which is very rare, I, I, I feel like I can be John Cena. I'm just like him because you can't see me. 
I'm thankful for the I Spy books because they were just awesome and they used to captivate my imagination so much. Like, I used to love reading them and searching for the stuff in the big pictures. Those books were so creative. What happened to those books? I don't know if they still make them. Or, I don't know. I love those, though. I'm thankful for the bottled water companies, Aquafina and Dasani, because their names are so much fun to say. And as a kid, I could never read Dasani, but now I get it. I get it's called Dasani. Thank you, Dasani and Aquafina. I'm thankful for highlighters because they brighten up essays and things that are boring to read. Uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for photo frames because they hold our photos and our memories dear that we hold dear, like literally, you know. But I'm also thankful for them because you can put a picture inside the photo of yourself and be like, look, I've been framed. It's a joke that, that's only funny for like two seconds, but it, it, it's there and it's it's because of photo frames. I'm thankful for the video game Minecraft. I re-downloaded that the other day. Um, I got a PlayStation 4 uh, and everybody's been talking about this Fortnite game. Maybe I should get it. I don't know. But I re-downloaded Minecraft. I didn't play it since like high school. I played it again. And oh my gosh, is it fun. And it's just fun to dig tunnels. And it reminded me of how, like as a kid... Like how much I wanted to dig a really big tunnel. I don't know why I always had that obsession. But thank you Minecraft for bringing those nostalgic memories back to me. I'm thankful for inflatable mattresses. Because they're like normal mattresses. But inflatable and portable. I'm thankful for my CD racks. Because they help me keep my music collection intact and in order. Um, right now I'm looking at my CD rack. Because I actually have my phone on top of one of them. I, that's not what I'm using as my phone stand. Oh I'm breaking the fourth wall. Uh, but to record this video that is. And, and I'm looking at a couple albums. The Beach Boys and also Dave Matthews Band. So like this status if you like the Beach Boys. Or the Dave Matthews Band. Or just like music and places where you can store your music. I'm thankful for the TV show The Big Comfy Couch. I don't know if anybody else remembers that. But it had a really near and dear place in my heart growing up and I used to love the part when the main clown girl I forget her name I'm thankful for the show but yet I forget things about it when she would do this thing on like this clock she had like on the floor it was like a floor mat clock and she'd do this like acrobatic thing I don't know what it was but it was it was so cool as a kid then they had this thing when they went under the bed and there were dust bunnies it was under the couch not under the bed it's the big comfy couch I don't know why I said bed but I used to love that segment and, he, and there were other characters in it like this girl had a grandma that lived next door and there was also this mailman that would come by if you like the comfy couch I hope you're thankful for it if you ever saw it because it was so good but really God has blessed me with a lot of great things this year uh without him I couldn't do anything and also along the way, he's given me many great family and friends and just people by my side to go along life as, as I travel along. And that was a really weirdly constructed sentence, but there's been a lot of really awesome people, family and friends and everybody that I'm thankful for too. And I'm, I'm thankful for all the things he's put in my life and I can't wait to see what 2019 has in store. But I really hope everyone has a really great Thanksgiving. Please count your blessings on those days. Be thankful for what you have and remember what it's all about. It's about being thankful for the things that are in your life and just being happy for what you have. And remember that because I've had a couple Thanksgivings where I kind of forget that and I'm grumpy. Please let me know what you're thankful for in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on everything that's going on in your life and what you're happy about this year and what has just made your year a good year. And until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.